Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to show you one very important application of morphological reconstruction. Okay, that is clearing the borders. Okay, uh, what is that? Many times it happens while clicking one selfie or any photo, you might have seen that one object uh, comes partially in the photo. Okay, that time what we do, we filter or crop the image such that the partially visible object is removed. Okay, that means to remove the object which are connected with the border or boundary lines, if we want to remove, how we can do that? So, that algorithm I am going to show you here. Okay, so for this particular demonstration purpose, I have taken one image which is having some fruits image but this is converted to binary okay so now you can see this particular object this particular object here this small object and this particular side object are partially visible they are connected with the border or boundary of our image now suppose I want to remove these objects only that is I want to keep all the other objects which are not attached with the boundary remain same only those objects which are uh, connected to boundary, those should be removed. This is what we have to do. Now, how we can do that? See, very simple. We can use the morphological reconstruction, which I have already discussed in my previous video in detail. Now, if we want to apply morphological reconstruction on any image, what we require? We require one original image. So, this is our original image that is called mask or constraint of our transformation we require one marker which is the original image on which we will be applying the morphological operation especially dilation right so that marker we need to decide and obviously our structuring element as we take 3 cross 3 square structuring element right now what will be our marker for this particular case try to understand very important our marker will be only boundary okay that is how you can create the marker try to understand traverse the whole matrix image is matrix right traverse the whole matrix if that particular pixel is placed in the boundary take those okay else if that is present inside the inside the original image that is not present or connected directly the boundary don't consider those so as a result you will be having one boundary border line right so that we can use as mask for our morphological reconstruction now what will happen if we apply morph morphological reconstruction see consider this particular fruit if you just take only the boundary pixels or border pixels of this particular object now if you apply morphological reconstruction as a result what will happen see this all the boundary pixels are subset of this particular object so as a result if you apply morphological reconstruction it will make the whole object this one right due to successive dilation and intersection okay and then when your iteration will be completed or terminated you will be having this complete object now if you subtract that image from the original this one your this particular part will be removed right that's all the simple idea okay so our marker will be the boundary that's all okay and mask will be this original image so what I have done so here I have taken my original image and output equal to zeros r comma c where rc are number of rows and columns of our original image okay I am creating one same size of mask of our uh, this particular demonstration so here this particular for loop is for extraction of the boundary pixel so for i equal to 1 colon r for j equal to 1 colon c if any of the condition is satisfied that means that particular pixel is placed at the boundary we are taking that in the output output of ij equal to i of ij as it is okay output equal to double of output i have just given the variable name as output this is not actually output let me just show you that figure I am show output okay so this is actually my mask sorry marker so if you just observe this is our marker if you just closely 
uh, observe this see here marker is present here marker is present here marker is present at this particular coordinate marker is present and here marker is present now we can use this for morphological reconstruction so as we have as we know im reconstruct is the inbuilt function first give the marker then mask and here i have converted output as well as that is the marker as well as mask to double okay keep those same either both in unsigned integer 8 bit or both in double okay remember this then i am showing the border part and then i am subtracting the border from the original image to get the clearing border objects okay the image apart from the border objects so if i just run the whole part see how beautifully we are getting the output so let me just separate this okay so these are our four output this is original image this is basically acting like mask this is our marker this is our border part see only border objects are taken and then when we subtract this border part from the original image we are getting the image which don't have any object connected with the border that is clearing border objects okay so now this is the code which we can write by our own also okay that i have shown in fact if you uh, want you can ignore i am reconstruct and use your own code which i which code i already i have shown earlier that how you can write your own code to reconstruct okay or apply morphological reconstruction okay but sometimes this particular bigger code may be uh, difficult to debug in a very big project okay suppose you are doing a very big project and clearing the border part one small component of your whole project then uh, to decrease the number of lines you can use one inbuilt function present in matlab there is im clear border that's all suppress light structures connected to image borders that's all so what we can do here that is the code using inbuilt function clc clear all goes all warning off i am taking my image and showing that original image and clear border i am applying that is e where the clear border objects that is the objects which are not connected with the border are only left okay and i am showing that control a evaluate selection see how beautifully our inbuilt function also working okay it is removing all the objects which are connected to border but internally this clear border applies this morphological reconstruction only this is the actual algorithm okay both the codes will be posted in the description box if you want you can check there thank you for watching